Monaco, there's nowhere quite like it to declare that you have made it. But this playground of the rich and famous is a long way from where some of the EY World Entrepreneur of the Year finalists started out. That's certainly true of last year's winner. As you know, my story now, I was a migrant, Arabic, and uh, taken over uh, a bankrupted company. And uh, also not having a background in, in construction, production, uh, material, products. So I'm a PhD graduated in computer science. How can Arab uh, not have in a background with computer science degree with no money is going to succeed? It's just not possible. I was born in a refugee camp in, uh, in Germany, with Polish parents after the Second World War. I arrived in Australia when I was seven months old. I uh, spent the first three years of my life in a refugee camp in uh, Northam, uh, a wheat belt town about 100 kilometres north of Perth, most isolated capital city in the world. And then the next three years of my life I spent in a house with three other families near where my father worked. I started my company so when I was 28. I like to support the family because we coming from, my father coming from China, so we go through the top life, top uh, uh, life environment. There's a difference of opinion among entrepreneurs about whether it's easier or harder to start a business now. Oh, easy. I don't, not easy, I don't say easy, but I'd say it, it's something that uh, is no more difficult now than it was then, and I, I believe it's actually easier now. The technology is changing, the world's changing, the world's being disrupted. I think there's massive opportunities out there for people. You've just got to have the diligence, the heart, and um, make the effort. Now it's getting harder because uh, technology is uh, so transparent and uh, everything is very quick, speed is, uh, is very important. And, uh, but people lack of the communication, transparency, warm heart. It's difficult. Why it's difficult? Because really you have to be determined, courageous, over a very lengthy period, without no, uh, no assurances to succeed. That's difficult. And also with this, uh, with this atmosphere, where nobody believes in you when you test out. So there is a lot of elements not to, not to believe and to lose faith. With more sources of finance available, it should be easier to get businesses off the ground. But as most leaders at this year's event will testify, the most important ingredient is hard work. Andrew Bounds, Financial Times, Monaco.